we're gonna go ahead and get started. And as usual, we want to start by giving a moment of silence to the most highest well, the ancestors. Uh, thank everyone for coming back today. You know, it's been as good as what uh, Brother Bay had for us. You know, uh, those who are not here, I mean, I didn't get to hear everything yesterday, but, uh, you know, of course, I get to hear it later. You know, but uh, I'll be, you know, doing little things around here. But, uh, you know, I heard a lot of what the brother was talking about yesterday. And, you know, a lot of the things that he spoke about, you know, like I had no knowledge of, so I'm going to have to research further and so forth. You know, I'm glad that the brother came. You know, like I have a brother here with me today. He's been waiting meet him, you know, so hopefully we do have our pencil and paper again today because I know the brother going to drop some more on us, you know. Yesterday at the end we were trying to go and everyone had a whole lot of questions. I know it's going to be a whole lot of questions, you know. We can't do it all in one setting. You know, but we want to thank you once again for coming out. Uh, as, as this is a uh, message that I saw on the San Cofo 360 study group, uh, tribute to the Arnold Lord Drew Ali. Keynote speaker, Dr. Ashura Aline Bay. Uh, most of them are not here, but we did have some sponsors for this program. I want to recognize them, uh, which was the Mel Melanated Conscious Society. This is Brother Kareem. He was here yesterday. I guess he'd come back today. Uh, should I say, Brother Kapir? Also, uh, Brother D'Angelo, he's here today. Uh, he have uh, a uh, janitorial service. Brother D'Angelo, he's a member here at the Mass City. Also, want to thank the Nation of Islam, their barbershop, they had an ad also. Brother Joseph Coswell out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia. He used to be here, but the brother moved on to Atlanta, Georgia. He's doing a lot of things. If you're ever in that area, look the brother up. You probably see him on Facebook a lot anyway. Also, uh, Great A Enterprise. Uh, this is a Q. He's the owner, CEO. He's out in the Norway Plaza Shopping Center. Also, uh, Brother Neil of the Chop Shop Barbershop. And he's located, uh, I can't really see it, but if you know about the Chop Shop, you can check it out. Also, we have Dr. Uh, yeah, Doc on the Physical Therapy. He's up on H, uh, H Street. And also, we have Top Notch Cuts. Uh, I don't know their location, but we want to thank all of them. Uh, you know, I know the brother have a a lot of knowledge for us today, you know, I don't want to hold it up. And I know that you all have a lot of questions, you know, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Some people will be coming in uh, late, so, you know, hopefully they will get some of this knowledge that the brother had. But I also want to mention to you again, don't forget about what I mentioned about Brother Fred Hampton. This will be June the 10th here at the next year. That's on a Sunday. Also on June the 8th, we have uh, the uh, walk and bike ride for Dr. Also, uh, St. Coco class every Friday night at 6.30. Please come out. And also, we're going to be doing the Marcus Garvey, which that is in August. You know, we'll get the information to you. Uh, most people sign in anyway. Hopefully, you left an email or phone number or something like that. So, please, you know, uh, remember that. Like I say, we're a small here at Mass City House Alone, but we are Mass City House Alone slash the House of Consciousness here in Jacksonville. Yeah. So, once again, I want to thank you all for all your support. Yeah. Uh, you know, just keep in touch, and we'll keep in touch with you and let you know what we have going on here. So at this time, let's bring up my brother, uh, Zaha. Zaha! Zaha! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I want to talk to y'all about some water today. Because uh, we, got, we got a whole lot of information about our history and our culture and stuff like that. But in, in order for us to enjoy life. I feel like we want to get the maximum amount of life that we possibly have. And so therefore we start with the body. I hope of uh, giving everybody a, a sheet of paper involving water and the importance of water. And this is a ritual that I perform every morning and in every evening. I simply, uh, before I go to bed, I'm going to drink two room 
temperature glass and water. Full glass. And I may have to get up in the night to do the bathroom. Don't mouth like that. But when my feet hit the floor in the morning, I'm going straight in the kitchen and I'm going to do that again. Now, I'm not going to eat anything until 45 minutes after I drink that water. But nine times I've seen a long time before that, I'll have to go to the bathroom. And what happens is when you drink that water on an empty stump and you lay down, the body temperature drops, heart rate drops, and the body goes into a repair and cleansing mode. And with the water inside the body, it makes the process have fluidity. The body is made of cells. And uh, we were talking about juicing a few moments ago. I spent two years just juicing up of pure, pure fruit and vegetables. Uh, no cooked food, no meat, just, just juice. I get ready to go to work, I got a big jar of parsley, and spinach, I got a chunk of ginger root, I got cranberries, I'm gonna drink that jar down. And when I get to work, I got life. Because everything that you put in your mouth has to be turned into a liquid. Because the body's made out of cells. When you turn it into a liquid, uh, you feed your cells. Now, the average uh, doctors, they'll tell you that whenever you put something in your mouth to eat, you have to chew it approximately 108 times. That is to fully liquefy it so that it can feed the cells. But when it comes to juicing, raw fruits and vegetables, uh, there's a process. Now, like the sister was saying, that you gotta be in you gotta, you gotta be careful with that. Because you want to, whatever you're going to juice, you wanna make sure you grow it, or whether you get it from an organic source. You gotta know where the food comes from. So we have gardens, uh, we grow our own tangerine trees, we grow our own grapefruit, our own wild grapes. Uh, we got, we go, we got gardens that are pretty deep boxes where we're able to grow and we're able to take the stuff from the garden and then juice it. But the most important part about all this is the water. If you got the water thing going, you see, when you do this, you know, uh, when you work all day long and the next day comes and it's time for you to get up, you'll get up and sit up in the bed. Then you'll swing around and sit on the edge of the bed. That ain't supposed to be happening. When your eyes open in the morning and you wake up and you're alert, you're supposed to throw the cup off and step straight out and keep moving. That's how you're supposed to do. That's, and, and, and that happens when you got life. Or either you, you've seen people lay in the bed and when they finally get up out the bed, they, their feet got their gym. You need to walk. You get to walk and take care of them. See, I'm 64 years old. I don't have none of that going on because I take care of what I have to do. I take care of what I have to do. And as long as you got life and your wife, your girlfriend, what have you, she wants to be happy too. So you got to take care of you. You got to take care of her. I make sure that she understands that this is why I'm doing this right now. Uh, I'm in good shape. You know, I'm, you know, I'm not a big muscle man. You used to have muscles and all that back in the day, but that's gone. I, I don't need all that. But you want clarity of mind. Now, like I was discussing, we can't look at this right now because it's not big to show you. But they created a machine called the uh, John Ellis Water Machine. And what that thing does is it sends the water between a heating and cooling process hundreds of times and it totally destroys any kind of bacteria in water because water, the water that we drink or we bathe in or whatever, that water is supposed to go through the skin. But the water that we have today, we, it, it, it won't do it. We got cancer. You, if, you, if you had cancer or uh, you were diabetic, or you had high blood pressure, what you were supposed to do is drink a glass of water and get rid of it. That's the way that's supposed to go. But we don't have the deuterium completed water because the same water that's going into the toilet is still going back in and processing stuff we're drinking water. We cannot get rid of 
these markers until the bacteria and the contaminants are destroyed through a heating and cooling process. Uh, they were trying to figure out why did the uh, people in Tibet, why were they living so long? They said it could be the tobacco because some of them chewing it back. You know, some of them drinking a little, but they still living a long time. So they came over and they did an investigation. And they found out that the Tibetans were going on the ground and taking water that had been processed through the mountains and the volcanoes through heat and cooling processes. And it was promoting life. The same thing was happening in a uh, little village, village over in China because they couldn't figure out why did these people live so long. And, and they were dealing with, uh, 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 they had uh, ion, negative positive ions and stuff, and it was just what it was, but it's the water. Because the, 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 the body is designed uh, to be fluid. If we, if we got 95% uh, or 75% of our brain is water, and the body can be reduced uh, to a small amount of water, well, then that means that we are supposed to keep the water into the machine. I was working on a, a job one time, and the supervisor, he was in the Navy, and uh, I would get up to go to the restroom. And uh, I do that four times a day. And he came to me and said, man, you, you know, you, every time I look around, you go to the bathroom. I said, uh, yeah, I said, because I have to go. And he said, well, I don't know. I don't use the bathroom for like once a day. I said, well, you got a problem. I said, you, you, and you been in the Navy? Yeah. I said, well, you ought to know. And a man's supposed to have bowel movement at least four times a day. Hey, I'm going to check that out. He come back the next day and said, man, who, who, how, how you find out that? I said, you go, you been in the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> so now, when you see him going to the bathroom, he's <laughs> going <laughs> And you do what you're supposed to do. I said, you, if you are not having that, something is wrong. If you got a headache, uh, 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 you getting out of bed, so uh, when you wake up, you gonna sit in the bed for a good 15 minutes deciding to get out. <laughs> Something is wrong. So uh, the water, when you got the water, and you it, it tells you eight things that drinking this water does for you. And all you're doing is drinking two glasses of water in the morning. Before you eat any breakfast, before you go outside, that you, you want to perform that ritual. Two in the morning, and before you go to bed at night. Before you, you know you're going to bed, you're done for the day, you, 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 you go in there and perform your ritual. Two more glasses. Now you better gonna be full. But you get in the bed and lay down with that water on there. And you, your, your, your dreams are, are change. The way you feel, you rest. When you wake up in the morning, you up. You, you, you up. You, you energy alert. Now it says here, uh, help get rid of uh, body toxins. As you drink water, and that's the urgent movement in your bowels at night. Your body repairs itself and uh, casts out all toxins in the body. When you drink water on an empty stomach in the morning, you will flush out uh, these harmful toxins leaving your body fresh and healthy. Drinking plenty of water can help in increasing the production of muscle cells and new, new blood cells. Uh, your skin is elastic. Um, um, when it comes to communication, you're sharp. Um, uh, your relationship with your mate improves. Everything good. So you want to make sure that you run the water through the body so that it can, it can flush out all your toxins. See, when you do that at night and get in the morning, when you have your first movement, that's all the toxins that's been processed the day before. Okay? Now, uh, down here it says uh, 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 indigestion uh, is caused by uh, increased acidity in the stomach. You suffer from heartburn, the acid refluxes into your esophagus. 
When you drink water on your stone, these acids are pushed down and get diluted, solving the problem. Also, this provides a head start to your stomach for the upcoming breakfast. So it's just a matter of performing this very, very simple uh, ritual. Um, in spite of what kind of employment you're doing, uh, you're in real estate, uh, you, you're going to get on the stock exchange, whatever, you want clarity and you want to be sharp. So you want to perform that ritual. You don't want to do this for a while and, and then stop. We, we, we're talking about doing something for the rest of your natural life. And that way you will have life for the rest of your natural life. You, you're going to age, but you will age gracefully and, 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 and sharp. You know, you be, you know, you you get old, you know, you have great hair, whatever, you know, but uh, one thing you say, you know what? When I had an old man that get around like he do, he got to run a chitty book. Because <laughs> you, you, you got the science down, and, and you're doing what you're supposed to do. And the reason why I put this at the forefront is number one, is because in, in, in spite of whatever activity you're trying to do, it don't matter what it is. I, I, I don't care what it is, if you take care of the body first before you do anything. If you're going to teach a class, just get that water rich and full. Get that thing. Okay. Uh, any questions? Which question?
work and it, it, it's done during the night. So in the morning, you start over. Same reason. But that was a good question, because a lot of people will have to pee before they go to bed and don't go. Right. And that's not good for your kidneys and your heart, because your body trying to get rid of it so it can hold some more. I know, that's why. It sounds like it's too quick, like you said, but because really some people honestly really think that they're doing more about not going to the just Right, so hold it and it's doing more harm. You got to you got go, you got to go. If you got to do that first, or uh, if you have to wake up during the night and go, get up and go. You don't have to go back and drink two more glasses. You done, you done, done that with you. You're done. It's in there. It's going to work. It's going to do what it got to do. The next thing you want to do is in the morning, perform the ritual again until the body gets to the point that it is it's, it's moving, it's elastic, you're able, you're alert, you're alive, you're you know, you ain't you ain't sluggish. You 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 you, you move it. You move it. Have you heard that you know a lot of times and they think that your body is praying until you say, Well, I'm starting to eat and I read somewhere that a lot of times you're really not hungry, the body's asking you for water. And if you drink the water, the hunger goes away. Well, because like I I just I just I just well Reason why is remember I told you that the body is made of cell. In order for you to feed the cell, whatever it is that you put in your mouth has to be turned into a liquid. When you get up in the morning and you ain't done no risk, you don't eat them grit, the head, and that face, your your stone's full. But guess what's gonna happen? Almost about 12 o'clock, you like, I'm hungry. You feel your stomach up, but you never did feed yourself. You, you see. And we, we eat breakfast, and then we go back and eat lunch, and then we come back and eat dinner, and then the next day we start over. Breakfast, lunch, and then we, we steady eating. But when, when 11 or 12 o'clock, we hungry again. The reason why is because you have not fed yourself. When you feed yourself, it's a whole different ball game. So the hunger, is actually asking for water yeah. and not so much the soft foods. Mm. I eat, a, I eat a, 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 a bowl of soup. After I do my ritual, I eat a bowl of soup. And uh, I'm good. I go I go past 4 o'clock. I may eat a, another something at night and sometimes I don't, I don't need nothing else because I don't, I especially during the day, I don't some more water. Because you know, you, you're feeding the cells. Now, what kind of soup do you get? You get the McQueen cheese with fish, fish chowder soup and different things like that. Any, any, any kind of soup. Any kind of fix a big pot of vegetable soup. Eat off the door and day and think, what kind of soup do you use? Well, uh, I, eat, I eat all kinds of soup. Yeah. Like mushrooms, clam chowder, all that, like I said. Mm -hmm. But what I do is when I get ready to eat, yeah. uh, I'll take a half a spoonful of moringa powder, right there. Yeah. Moringa. Moringa. Yeah. Moringa powder. Y'all can grow that down here. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, we do. Sprinkle a half a teaspoon of moringa powder on whatever you eat. Well, that's, a, that's a miracle thing. Now, on, on the rituals time, sometimes, sometimes I do not drink the water rituals. What I'll do is I'll get two glasses of Harry Tacky fruit. The Harry Tacky fruit is the king of all medicine on the planet. H A R I C A K. Have a You can go right online and just type in Dr. Bonzi products and you got the hair tag. It's a piece of food you used to go in Africa. H A R I T A K I. Have a tacky fruit. That's the king of the plant cat. That fruit, when it grows, you put it in the end, they put it off the tree green, and the end set it out in the sun until it dries and it looks like a nut that's got a nut inside it. Take seven pieces of that heritage fruit, put it in a gallon jug of water, let it sit overnight, and then drink as much as you barely can hold. And what that's going to do is not going to go purge the body, but if there's anything going on inside the body that needs repairing, it's going to be repairing it. And you, 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 you can feel it tingling. Wow. In there. Well, it's working. I need that plant. I need that plant. I need some seeds, Elder. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I got some right now. Can you buy? 
Yeah, yeah, you can go right online, you get a bag of 30 and a bag for $20. Right there online, just type it in on, on Google. Just type in Dr. Bell Bombay product. Dr. Bombay, D A Y. Get your hammer tag and food. And then I'll drink, instead of drinking just regular water, I drink me two glasses of that. And I come back in the day, in the middle of the day, I drink me two more glasses. And then at night, I drink me two more glasses. And now, uh, boy, you talking about some life and some energy and some alertness. You know, it's right. You know, I'm still feeding the cells, but I'm, but I'm switching, then I'll go back mm -hmm. to the water. Then when I get ready to eat, I got the moringa powder over whatever it is you eat. So that way you have, you have life. You have sleep. Everything you need, you got. Yeah. I just
Because I accumulated that because I was at the job on a mission. And I said, okay, I need a house. Yeah. Boom. We got that latest thing. We've been here, uh, uh, working here for 15 years. I'm going to get me a house. Wait a minute. You've been here for 15 years and you finna get one? <laughs> I mean, don't you think you got to change your mind? Uh, 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 happiness is possible only when you're in the process of accomplishment. Whatever it is that you want, go ahead and plan for it, and then go ahead and execute it. But if you if you if you on a job and you don't have a goal and you ain't figured out what you want, you go on to work, you're spending your wheels, you're making good money, but you 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 spend the money because you have no well defined goal. You 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 you're not on a mission. You're not you're not there with the end in mind because what you are doing is you making somebody else rich. So it's designed that way. But you had to think, well, I'm here to make me rich. This is why I'm here. This is why I come here every day. I want to get every line of overtime. If I'm going to work 40 hours, then I need 60 hours on the paycheck. That's what I need. And I need that every week. And, 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 and so they come to me and say, well, you know what? Uh, we're going to have to fire you. Who is it? What they did to me. They said, well, we, we don't have to let you go. I said, okay. I stepped right out the door and went full time in my own business. Because I came there with a mission. And I and I and I kept it there. And you 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 still got guys that are still working there trying to retire. They had one lady working there, she retired, and the next day died. <laughs> Work herself to death. I said, I ain't doing that no more. I said, I've been, I've, been, I've been working since I was 16 years old. I said, I got to come up with a plan. I got to start doing things different. And I realized that my, uh, my granddaddy uh, uh, told me, he said, what you do? Uh, the only reason one man should work for another man is to acquire some capital for investment in your own business. Okay, so from the It was, on, it was on the computer. <laughs> they used it as a small one. It was a computer. Because mm -hmm. it's like shot the glass to a book. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But it's really a physical thing. I just don't have to lose my way on earth like this. So you can have it to you want to go. Water is sufficient. But you know what, Bob? Yeah, all y'all do. They put land in the water. Well, this is what I was telling you. Get you air purifier. See, inside your environment, you want to control your environment. You want to control the air that you breathe in your environment. So, air that circulates in your environment, you should be processing that air so it is pure. And then, if you're drinking water, you want to see. I got two purifying systems. I got a water purifier. The water coming out the sink is going through the purification system, and it's purified equivalent of well water. And then I'm taking that and I'm putting it in a jug in a refrigerator. Then I'm gonna take my pitcher which has another filter and it's going down in there. The pur purifying there. Now when 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 one time I come, I cut on the heat and I put on a there's an air purifier there. It's gonna purify the air so when you when you wake up you 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 are pleasant. You 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 feel good because you've been breathing Good. You ever seen the, when, when, when the light come through the window and you're looking in the light and you see all this dust yeah, right that? Yeah. that ain't supposed to be there. Right. You're supposed to have a straight beam of light. Oh, okay. Straight. And you had to get that out of there. Because what happens is you ain't bothering nobody. You, you just chilling. You at the house. You looking at TV, whatever. But you are breathing in these contaminants. And you, you're feeling, well, you know, I don't feel like going nowhere today. I don't feel like it right here. Well, this, all of this is infecting you and your attitude and how you feel. So when you, when you take control of your environment and make sure that you are controlling it, you got to change the filters. Because if, if, if you just got air conditioning running in the house, what's going to happen is you're still circulating the same air over and over and over again. So what you want is a system that's going to take the contaminants out of the air and drag it down to the ground. 
you won't breathe nothing but pure air. You won't drink nothing but pure water. If you eat something, you, you, you straighten out because you're like, the sisters say we got GMO. We got all kind of contaminants in the food. You know, you know something wrong when you walk in a grocery store and you see all of these products, but then there's an aisle that says health food aisle. If this is the health food aisle, then what's the rest of it? Okay. You know something wrong, man. Okay, if there's no more questions, I'll thank y'all for listening to me. And uh, y'all get that water right Let me let this brother right here tell you about that before I will keep those feet going. Oh, Come on, yeah. brother.